tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. We want, you mentioned going south, right? Uh, we want we want to go to the south. We want to go to the west, east, and here in the north uh, where we're from. So uh, going to all these um, cities is part of our plan and provinces. Um, and uh, we have so, thanks to the pandemic, uh, we couldn't do all these things, right? So but, uh, ProX has a uh, very detailed plan for the future. And uh, my partner, Jerry, is quite... Uh, good at uh, planning these things we, we, we always want to motivate to inspire um, remind them to pray to study respect their parents respect their coaches all these things uh, not just basketball not just on the court not most important for me um, outside the court um, that's very important yeah. you res respect to uh, coaches parents yeah. etc uh, ProX is actually the first camp that I joined, and it was a good uh, supplement in, to the training I received in school. And it helped me develop a lot of skills and that that were very useful when I competed in the US, UAAP. Aside from that, I have also met a lot of uh, basketball players and a lot of professional um, basketball players who share their knowledge and experiences. That inspired us aspiring uh, basketball players. Again, inspiration. Um, we start off with her uh, head for operation. She used to be a uh, UAAP Ateneo player also, Similisa. She inspires these girls. These girls inspire younger girls. And it will go on, right? You keep on inspiring and uh, be a role model. Para, you know, people will learn more. Uh, yes, enjoy the sport, yes. respect the sport, respect the coach, etc. Yes, now Melissa, um, being on top of the basket, basketball operations of ProX, um, what is your vision? How do you see your role uh, growing in the years to come with ProX and, of course, leading more girls into the sport? Um, I see it as uh, just continuing to lead and show that women are capable of doing what men can, as I said. So eventually, uh, maybe instead of having integrated camps, we could lead to having all women camps and men boys camp as well. Because um, I hope that eventually we'll get so many um, girls wanting to join us that we'll have to make a separate camp for them as well. So I really just hope it continues to go up from here. and. Um, we continue just to um, show that pro X is for both uh, boys and girls as well. Yeah, that's interesting because uh, you see, uh, traditionally basketball is known to just be for, for boys. But seeing these fine young ladies with Melissa at the helm, with your vision in pro X, I really believe that there are more girls out there who are just waiting in the wings for the opportunity to have a camp and develop because you know the philippines is a basketball country we're mad about basketball as a nation and uh, i'm sure that uh, the ProX ambassadors can really uh, do a lot in uh, becoming the role models you no know, girl power you no know, basketball girl power, yeah, you know which i hope ProX will lead the way i have to salute you with your efforts with ProX and um I hope that uh, the vision will continue and you will have more uh, camps in the future once this pandemic is finished. But meantime, um, I know that you're keeping the flames alive and, and you're yeah. keeping yourselves um, busy online. Sports can develop your kids like in, no, no, in a very simple way. And if you are looking at basketball pro X, is the camp to enroll your kids at because they have a fantastic strategy it's fun for the kids and it, it develops the discipline and the basketball iq needed to advance in the sport uh, so thank you stay tuned for the next episode only here on z81 radio manila